Arpeggios are really popular in Latin bass playing. I've shown you the one minor chord and the four minor chord and the five dominant chord. Now I'm going to show you the arpeggios that work with those chords. Here's the A minor in fifth position and it is an arpeggio of the one minor or the tonic of the key. You can also play that in your open position down here with your open A. And other places on the bass. You can play it up here. Make up your own fingerings. That's an arpeggio of an A minor, the notes in an A minor chord are being plucked out individually. You don't have to play them from top to bottom, you can play them in and out and around and in all kind of ways. Get musical with it. different rhythms. That's an arpeggio. You can play it in as musical a way as you can at this point. And get out your charts and you can look at them and they'll be written there for you. And here's the four minor. Again, you don't have to just play it straight through like an exercise. Try to make some music with it. showed you a few different fingerings so you can learn those on your own. You'll figure it out as you start learning these and getting them under your fingers. And as I said, use your own fingerings. Make up your own. Use one finger if you want. Whatever it takes to get the note out. That's a D minor or the four minor in the key of A minor or A harmonic minor which I showed you in the first lesson. I'm just playing through the, the arpeggio of the four minor and then the five dominant chord. With some different rhythms in there. Just any, any way you want to play it though. You can straight right up and down. the seventh of the chord. That's the octave. And then you can resolve it so you can hear how that five pulls strongly to the one chord. Let me give you a quick demonstration of some arpeggios within the context of those chord changes. The chord changes are A minor to E7 and D minor to E7. Something like this. That's the D minor right there. Then the E7. Then the A minor. minor, E7, A minor, D minor, E. I've only played arpeggios there. I've not played any scales at all. This is strictly arpeggio knowledge. It's not something you're going to play on the bandstand. It's just to understand the sound of the chords that are, that are going to be played through. A minor, D minor, E7, A minor, D minor, E7, very busy bass playing but it's just the only way I can teach you or that you can teach yourself how to get through those chords 
and you'll choose the right notes later once you study the history of Latin bass and lines that work within the context of a montuno or a tumbao, uh, you'll know. But f you have to first understand the scales and the arpeggios. One more time, A minor. That's pretty high on the bass, but it's good to know up there. D minor. E7. D minor. Went low there, see? Then E7. A minor. Make up your own patterns, D minor. E7. Those were all arpeggios except the last little run, which I used. I just did a little half step approach there to go down. That wasn't an arpeggio, but the rest, everything else was an arpeggio. Get out your notes and have fun with it.